A new study about breast cancer is causing some concern. It found that younger women who have recently had a child are at a higher risk of breast cancer than their peers who have not given birth. The findings published in the Annals of Internal Medicine seems to go against what we've been told for years, that childbirth protects against breast cancer. I spoke with oncologist Dr. Patel Sen with UT Health to get some answers beyond the headlines. Dr. Sen, younger women who have had children are looking at the headlines of this study and they could be alarmed. So explain this to us, put it into perspective. Yes, so this study is uh, on the European and uh, North American focus on the women younger than 55 who could develop a premenopausal. Uh, premenopausal women develop a breast cancer. Mm -hmm. um, and then compared to uh, women recently give birth versus women that um, ne never have a childbirth. So, and they study almost 900,000 women, um, then they follow them after they give a childbirth. The hazard ratio is 1.8. That means it's 1.8 times higher chance to develop breast cancer compared to women who never have a childbirth. But that goes against a lot of conventional wisdom yeah. where we thought, okay, it sort of protected us. If you've given birth, it might have lowered your risk of breast cancer. So what explains these findings? They peak at five years and then they gradually coming down, but they're still higher than the women never give birth until they reach 23 years. And then the crossover is happened at 23 years, and then they get even, and then they continue going down. The, the risk of developed breast cancer continue going down. For example, at 34 years, like three decades after you give birth, and the hazard ratio is 0 0.77. That means 23% lower incident of developed breast cancer compared to women never have a birth. The other thing that people are considering is, say, uh, I'm a young woman, late 20s, early 30s, and I give birth, but I also have a family history of breast cancer. I have a mother or an aunt or someone immediate who, who has had breast cancer. Does that increase my risks no matter what? On this study, they're also looking into uh, several factor among those women. Uh, if they have a family history, is it strongly even higher uh, associated with developed breast cancer. So and given this new study, and we always seem to, I feel like there are always new guidelines as to how early women should get a mammogram. Now with this new study, is that going to change the ages at which women should go and get checked up, or is it going uh, to stay? Because uh, relatively small risk may not causing a drastic change on the guideline. Say for women, if you have a childbirth after 35 years old, and maybe you will consider have a first mammogram at age 40 instead of some national guideline recommended 50. Thank you so much, Dr. Sun. We appreciate that information. Thank you. Thank you.